Hello everyone, welcome you all in my YouTube channel. This is the fourth video of the series SC900 exam. Moving towards questions. This is the question number 31. Which Azure Active Directory feature can you use to evaluate group membership and automatically remove users that no longer require membership in a group? Options are A. Access reviews. B. Manage identities. C. Conditional access policies. D. Azure ready identity protection. And correct option is option A. Access review. Because Azure Active Directory access review enables organizations to efficiently manage group membership, access to enterprise applications, and role assignment. Moving towards next question. Select the answer that correctly completes the center. Multi-factor authentication, pass-through authentication, password write back, single sign-in. Which of these require additional verification, such as a verification code sent to a mobile phone? And correct option is multi-factor authentication. Because multi-factor authentication is a process where a user is prompted during the sign-in process for an additional form of identification, such as to enter a code on their cell phone or to provide a fingerprint scan. Moving towards next question. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The statements are conditional access policies can use device state as a signal. Conditional access policies apply before first factor authentication is complete. Conditional access policy can trigger multi-factor authentication if a user attempts to access a specific application. And these are the solutions. First statement, conditional access policy can use device state as a signal this statement is yes. B. Conditional access policy apply before first factor authentication is complete. This statement is no. C. Conditional access policy can trigger multi factor authentication if a user attempts to access a specific application. This statement is yes. And for second statement, that is, conditional access policy apply before first structure authentication is complete, why this statement is no. And the reason is conditional access policy are enforced after first structure authentication is completed. Not before. Moving towards next question. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. Microsoft Cloud App Security, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Microsoft Defender for identity, Microsoft Defender for Office 365. Which of these is a cloud based solution that leverages on premises Active Directory signals to identify, detect, and investigate advanced threats? And correct option would be Microsoft Defender for identity. Coming to the question number 35, select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. Azure Active Directory AD is dash used for authentication and authorization. Options are an extended detection and response system. Second, an identity provider. Third, a management group. And fourth, a security information and event management system. And correct option would be option B, an identity provider. Because Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based user identity and authorization service. And the reason is Azure Active Directory is cloud-based user identity and authentication service. Next question. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. Microsoft Defender for Identity can identify advanced threats from 
Azure AD, Azure AD Connect, on-premises Active Directory domain services, signals. And correct option is on-premises Active Directory domain services. Because Microsoft Defender for Identity is a cloud-based security solution that leverages your on-premises Active Directory signals to identify, detect, and investigate advanced threats, compromised identities, and malicious insider actions directed at your organizations. Moving towards the next question. Which Azure Active Directory feature can you use to provide just-in-time access to manage Azure resources? Options are A, conditional access policies, B, Azure AD identity protection, C, Azure AD privilege identity management, D, authentication method policies. And the correct option is option C, Azure AD privilege identity management. And the reason for that is Azure AD Privilege Identity Management provides just-in-time privilege access to Azure AD and Azure resources. Moving towards the next question, which three authentication methods can we use by Azure Multi-Factor Authentication? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Options are A. Text message B. Microsoft Authenticator app, C, email verification, D, phone call, and E, security question. And the correct three options are option A, text message, option B, Microsoft Authenticator app, and option D, phone call. Moving towards the next question, which Microsoft 365 feature can you use to restrict communication and sharing of information between members of two departments at your organization. Options are option A, sensitivity label policy. Option B, customer lockbox. Option C, information batteries. Option D, privilege access management. And correct option would be option C, information batteries. Next question. For each of the following statement, select Yes, if the statement is true, otherwise select no. The statements are conditional access policies always enforce the use of multi-factor authentication. B, conditional access policy can be used to block access to an application based on the location of the user. And C, conditional access policy only affect the user who have Azure AD joint devices. And these are the solutions. Conditional access policies always enforce the use of MFA. This is statement is no. Conditional access policy can be used to block access to an application based on the location of the user. This statement is yes. Conditional access policy only affects users who have Azure Active Directory joint devices. This statement is no. Moving towards the next question. 